It's Wednesday. How are you? How has your week been? You get Teacher Marisa, me all day today for one full hour. But before we move forward, just so you know, we're having a little issue. We're having some issues with the internet with Comcast. So if we lose you, um, you're just going to have to go over to Facebook and uh, we're going to have to do some things. Some um, we're think We'll just switch over to the phone. So just bear with us. So. I'm so, so, so excited. Let us know how your week has been. And tulips, put in your tulips so we know who you are. Flower Lovers Club, past graduates, current students, put those tulips in. And if you're joining us for the first time, let us know who you are so we can all welcome you in. And may I also say, hi, mommy. She's joining us. Hi, mommy, I love you. Can you believe it? Next week, school is in session. I cannot believe it. And we are completely sold out in the basic floral design class. I'm so, so, so excited. So if you were planning on coming to the basic floral design uh, certification course here in the classroom, I think the next one is in October, November. September 14th so, and then November 20-something. <laughs> yeah, so if you it, just call us and we can um, give you all the dates. But yes, it's November, you said. I can't remember the, uh, the basic. October I believe. 20th, I believe. October 20th, yes. <laughs> so as I said, I am Teacher Marisa. I'm going to be with you um, for one full hour. Leanne is here today. Say hi, Leanne. Hi, you all. I need to be on the other side of the camera. <laughs> having fun. And I think she's going to be on Facebook today. I'm on Facebook. Okay. Right okay. So Leanne's going to be on Facebook with Caledonia. And Carolyn's here with us. Say hi, Carolyn. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and she'll be on YouTube with Susie. So I'm so glad you're all here. I'm so excited. OK, so let's talk about today. Maurice's visions about the changing of seasons. I can't even tell you how excited I am to talk about that because, one, most of you know I lived in Massachusetts for a few years, and I can tell you, and I'm from Orange County, California, so I just lived in basically summer my whole life. But when I lived in Massachusetts, that was probably the first time that I actually got to see and even feel and smell the change of season, so that was probably probably one of my most favorite, favoritest parts about um, living over in New England. And then, What's even more exciting is today when we got our flowers in, I had one idea on what I wanted to do. And with the change of seasons, and I don't know if you can see all of these fabulous flowers. Let me show you this. Look at how fabulous this dahlia is. It's like almost as big as my head. I hope to use this one today, um, but just seeing the different changes in colors and changes of season. That's for me, gives me so much inspiration um, with all the different colors for one and watching how different varieties and foliages actually change and even their, their, their structures. Like I'm gonna use leaves later that are dry that actually kind of, you've seen me use leaves before, but I'm gonna use things like that, even branches that have maybe expired or li expired a little bit, but I still would like to use them. So I actually really embrace, well, not all the time. Change is hard, but I do like to embrace change just because it, it is, although it's challenging, you know, it makes you think, right? So let's get started. Okay, so I'm trying to think today if I want to start. Well, first of all, what's going on out there? I'm just keep. I just keep on blabbing. Well, what's Bridget going? Bridget just made me so happy. So Bridget, you just made me laugh. She says, "Shut the front door, <laughs> holy darling." <laughs> right. Yeah, like, okay, it's Bridget, fa it's fabulous. Know. It's fabulous. Anything going on in your world, Carolyn? Oh, we've got so many. So many tulips, Ginger Fusman, who just graduated and she, got oh my gosh. certified. Yes, already? Yay. <laughs> already, yay! Can I just say really quick, Ginger, I think she was the one that did the Hogarth curve, I 
think. Oh, it was linear with all those uh, manipulated leaves. I think she did the whole. I think that was you. I think that she did the Hogarth with the Nautilus shell, and then you had. Oh yeah. Hopefully, show. It, it was so. Yeah. It was so fabulous. So 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 fabulous. Good job. Very very proud of you. Yay! And then we have Rose with us. She did a fabulous piece on her Harlow stands with all this tropical foliage for her anniversary. It was so Oh, so you saw it. You saw it? She's, yeah, she called and asked for some assistance, and we wow. talked, her through it, talked her through it, and it turned out fabulous. Awesome! So you got a full house over here. We've got, and I lost track, but I'll tell you <laughs> where I am. Renee, Robin, Wayne, Tammy, Mai, Arthur, Nina, John, Diane, Scott, Elisa, Bridget, Genevieve, Vanjie, Andrea, Sue, <laughs> Oh, and Gracie. And I'm just going to stop there because we want to watch what you're doing. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I have... There's one arrangement I cannot wait to do, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to do that second. It's going to be more of an art piece, and I'm, I really hope it turns out. But what I really want... I'm going to start actually with a hand tie, okay? And what really inspired me with this one is again season so uh in the well i was saying the summertime because we we're in the summer but earlier or later spring um i used to walk around outside well i still walk around outside but i would go out and forage a lot and again like one week something would look like one thing and the next thing it, it would look a little bit different and just going around each week and playing with the same materials but they would actually kind of have a different characteristic like that week or it's just that's just I just I love that part but with these seasons even though we're going into fall not quite yet we're at the end of summer going into fall I wanted I wanted to make a design that's fall but not like so fall and Scott this is for you okay because I'm going to kind of play with a different I'm going to go away from like the typical fall color palette so I'm going to go ahead and start with that and literally, again, I'm just gonna let the flowers tell me where they wanna go. So I'm gonna get everything just all ready. And let's see, I want some of these grasses. And, okay, so I'm gonna start off with, this is actually dyed eucalyptus. Um, it's quite fabulous, so I'm just gonna use start this first and I'm just gonna let it just drape to the side. Then look at this, just like how fall is. It's just the different colors. Look how fabulous that is. Let's just do it on the other side, weaving it right in. And we can already kind of see the form it's already starting to take on. Oh, maybe we'll place another one over here, like that. Oh, this is, I just love this already. Okay, then I have this, on the invoice, it just said variety. It just said grass. So I'm going to add some grass, <laughs> unless you ladies know what this is called. I think it looks like grass. Decorative grass. <laughs> Decorative grass. Okay, so instead of actually placing, this, placing these in one by one, because it's going to take forever, I'm literally just going to go ahead and just kind of weave them on in like this. Maybe just going a little higher and just let them do whatever they want, kind of, see? I hope you are liking it so far. Okay, yes, I am gonna use these red dahlias. I can't help it, I have to. Okay. Just make sure it's gonna look beautiful when I take it home. Oh, I thought I was able, well, you can, I have to take a picture of it. <laughs> look at this. Okay, this is just gonna go down right here in the center. Ooh, I wish, I don't know if this reads well on camera, but this, I can't, it's just, I can't handle the prettiness right now in the studio. These are just gorgeous. Yeah, it reads great on okay, camera. Okay, good. <laughs> so Clara is watching you. She's been watching us many times, and um, she's hoping to come to flower school one of these days. So <gasps> Yay! it's kind of nice. Yeah. So Sarah, Teacher Marisa would be welcoming you to flower school along with Teacher Carolyn and Michelle and Anna and Jerry and Shell and me. It'd be fun. Is she wanting to come to the classroom or I wonder? No, no. Are you wanting to do online? So did you notice I placed a dahlia behind it, I shadowed it, and all of them had, or excuse me, the dahlias had these little 
their little bibbly bops. That is not a technical term, but a whole bunch of their little babies there and just having them dance up there. But see, it just kind of gives it a little bit of depth, but oh yes. Okay, let's keep going. And then these ones, radicchia, right? Radicchia. Like it, they're almost, they kind of sort of look like little tiny sunflowers, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start maybe placing, oh, I don't know, maybe some over here. She wants to know what technique you're doing there. Yeah, actually I'm, I'm hmm, well, I'm, I am actually doing both weaving and spiraling at the same time. So I am placing a few stems, weaving them within each other and then others, let's see, let me find. These are actually kind of short, but it's okay. Clara is hoping to come to the classroom. Ah, well, hopefully October. October may be a good choice, because we're, we're sold out already. <laughs> and then this one, instead of weaving it in, I'm just actually placing it behind. So some are placed weaved in and some I'm just placing it up against the rest of the stems. Let's see, how about, they're all tangled. What else is going on? You guys, I've missed John, being on live. <laughs> John has just gone and purchased a bunch of flowers that he's going to be making a presentation bouquet. So this might be a good Ooh. day to help him get some ideas. Yeah, presentation bouquet for what? Okay, this is where I feel like the, it's, this is gonna totally change this, this design. I'm actually gonna add white scabiosa, and already this, it's fall-ish, but it's almost like giving, giving fall some elegance, if you will, because it's just brightening it up. Oh, I just, I love these scabiosa. Let's see, I think I might actually start to weave these ones in because they're so delicate. Oh, look so I have a great question for you, So will the yes. dried eucalyptus bleed into the water? Um, yes. Let's see. Give me one second. And that's actually how I knew it was dyed. <laughs> Came in today and I processed them. And that's what the water looked like. So maybe you should charge more for the bouquet, <laughs> which is going to have colors like yeah. water. So there you go, yes. Yeah, so be, be careful. Um, it could get on your, I don't see it, uh, I can't really tell if my hands are starting to turn different colors, but um, definitely be careful with that, sending that out to a client, because you don't want that to get on there. So I have Table another, cloth. another great question we might put out to both YouTube and Facebook from Melinda. She's wondering what everyone's favorite color of dahlias are mm. because she's ordering her dahlia tubers to get planted in her yard Ooh. or possibly she's a, a flower farmer and would like to know what designers like. That's a good question for you all out there. So what is your favorite go-to dahlia color? So if, if, if I may answer that question, in my opinion, oh gosh, anything that just, well, I would say red is kind of my favorite color. And that's just a thing with colors, just the way your eyes respond to it. So, ooh, I don't know, that's really hard to say. I think for me, anything that just, is unique something if you can find something that maybe that isn't quite common maybe that would be my first choice what about you or even even like a really dark one like a black dahlia can you grow those ones <laughs> or variegated ones even we're getting a lot of burgundy and cafe au lait there you go here. yeah <laughs> i haven't worked with cafe au lait in a long time look at how pretty this is do you like, look at this color combination what do you think of it? I love it. I think it's great. That looks like a seasonal autumn bouquet to me. Yes, it does. I'm going to try. I have been eyeing these white sunflowers, and I'm going to see if I can add these in. And we may have to change and not, we may have to say no, but let's just see. It might not, they may not work because this, let's see, ooh, oh, look, oh my goodness, look at it right over there. It's really hard because their, their heads kind of bend. So if you just, if you notice how I just 
placed it in and had it um, sit on other materials so it doesn't like bend over. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna hold this up just a little bit higher. Ooh, Melinda said she can grow dark chocolate dahlias. Ooh, 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 ooh. I would love to see those. Me too. I don't know. I think You've got quite a group on here. Let me go through some quick again. Molly, Jared, Susan, Clara, Andrea, Alma, Deanna, Jan, Debbie, Brenda, Summer, and a whole bunch that I missed because it's scrolling too fast. So <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks, guys. Now I'm she gone. knows how I feel. <laughs> you know, she's, she's like, what's going on out there? I'm like, I don't know. They're still coming in. Give me a second. So just add, adding in some Dusty Miller, just because it is a little bit, it is quite light on that side. So I'm just going to balance it out over here on this side, maybe. And I'm sure if you all remember last time when I made the hand tie, and I can't remember who it was, but my hand was starting to hurt really, really, really bad. And they were just like, just stop squeezing it so tight. And it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> so, oops. The question is, would you wire the sunflowers? Um, I, I don't. I actually try, I like to use my materials in their natural state. Um, and to be quite, I mean, you could if you wanted. Um, but some of the, the gauge wires are, they're just, they're not even heavy enough to even hold them up. Um, so you, you could try, but try to, try, try to not do it. Try to just use them in their, their natural way. You know, the armature that we teach in the advanced class is one of my favorite things for sunflowers because you can support them yes. and put them exactly where you want them without wiring them. And you feel like you're cheating because it's so easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I used to wire things a lot. The top, oh, this is a perfect opportunity to talk about, actually, I'm not going to put that in there. It's too straight. I almost kind of feel like I'm done, but I feel like I have a little bit of, I have a hole back here. I need to put something there. I'm going to put my arm, I'm going to shake my hand out a little bit. Um, Carolyn and I were talking about earlier, even how um, our design styles change. And I can tell you, I used to struggle with this type of style a lot and I have just absolutely started to embrace this type of like Vespa one of a kind um lots of depth and dancers and whatnot and I just it's just crazy how we just evolve just just individually too right and even as designers so what can I put here in the very 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 back hmm so they're asking about those light sunflowers, if it's a natural color or if they are color enhanced. Oh, really, really good question. Um, they, it's their natural color. Um, I don't think I've seen um, white sunflowers like these before. Probably, I think this is like the first time I've actually seen them. What about you guys? I've worked with them before. I, I love them. They're actually kind of on the creamy side. Yeah, yeah. Really mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. They're coming out with so many new, different sunflowers. It's just not your, not your grandma's yellow sunflowers. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Nope. Oh my goodness, my, my hand is starting to hurt. My hands are too small. Okay, I think I'm just going to add this one last radicchia, and then I think I'm going to put it down, tie it off. What do you all think? I think this is just They're loving so it. We funny. have another question. Could you pick the sunflower so that the handle wasn't so big? Could you pick? Yeah, I mean, you you could, right? Um, however, that would probably definitely um, consider that the sunflower is only going to last for the day or maybe a few, I'd say maybe six to eight hours maybe, and then the head itch, yeah, because sunflowers like to drink a lot of water. Um, so if you just needed to have it last for the event, sure, but um, I wouldn't recommend doing that out on a, on a daily, on a daily order. So go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and just bind this off. And then I'm just going to get some, I'm going to grab the trash can. 
So you've got Heather, Denise, Adele, Roxy, Natalie, Penny, Stella, Diane, Nori, Robin, Rochelle, and Jessica have all joined us. Yay! Welcome, women and men. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let me move all of this out of the way so you can all see how pretty this is. Oh, I just love, I love that these colors. Beautiful. It almost that kind of looks like sort of ombre-ish, sort of, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> you know, it almost feels like it can transition from autumn to Christmas because of right. the burgundy yeah. there. I know, I was, well, you know. And then the pinkish gives it that spring look too, so you really have I got to all, I got all the seasons, I got you all do. of them. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to move this off to the side here, and let's just see. Let me grab a, a vase really quick. You know, it's interesting, the people with their favorites, um, burgundy is definitely the strongest, and then moody violets, oranges, cafe au lait, and then I'm super impressed with our viewer, Natalie, because not only does she say the burgundy, but she knows each variety name. So now Whoa. Are <laughs> oh my goodness. These are so hard. These are so hard to cut. These stems are so big. Okay, there we go. Okay. So hopefully, yeah, and I'll take pictures of everything tomorrow, but it's kind of on its side there. But I'll take pictures tomorrow and stage it so. It's even more fabulous than it is. Okay, let me move this off to the side. I think my I'm ready to do my art piece now. Let's hope that it turns out. <laughs> It'll be stunning. Okay. So let's see here. I'm gonna move this one over, maybe there. And Leanne, let me know if this is if it's getting in the way. I need to actually get it off um, set. Okay, so then this one. I found this guy stashed way, 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 way far in the back. That's one of my most favorite vases. Really? Can I ask where you got it from? <laughs> you know, it was gifted to us by What's the a woman. story? It was a woman who collected vessels for primarily Ikebana work and traveled worldwide. Hmm. And when she passed away, she willed the vessels to the school. So oh, we were so wow. Fortunate. Is that where you got all those Kenzons from? Most so of them came from her too, yeah. I found, you have, she has quite a stash of Kenzons. I was like, there were just boxes and boxes and boxes. It was really, really cool to find. Um, so here I am starting off with some Galix leaves. And I'm just placing just a few in just to cover mechanics. Maybe one more right here on top. Okay, terracing them just a little bit. All right, this is what got me excited and inspired me. So we can see, we're gonna see one, I'm gonna use sunflowers in this one, and we're gonna see the difference, the change of season from the one I just made to this one, because these are gonna be more the fall colors. Let's see, okay. This is what inspired me. Look at what they did. Look at how cool. Can you guys see oh that? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I was like, yep. Okay, is Arthur Buckley on? Yes, he is. Okay, so this design is actually kind of inspired from him too. Um, and for all of you Tulip um, uh, members on our Tulip page, he posted something. He's like, I don't know what form this is. What is this? I, I kind of just gave it away, but I want you to see what I'm going to do. And it's basically the same form that he did, but I'm using the vessel to create the form too. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so I gotta look at these to see how they'll play off each other. Look at, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So, so, so excited. Okay, so if you, if you could, you can see, right, that I left the um, foam a little bit taller so I can, come out with my flowers. And then I can't remember who was on the tulip um, page, but since I have um, some Gaelic sleeves here, I'm gonna take my knife and poke through the leaves. 
for an easier insertion. Okay, so let's just get you in. Oh, ooh. So Diane wants to buy some of our tins on. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I will say though, you may have luck. Um, I went to like an antique store up in Astoria and I found so many Kenzons there and they were selling them for like five dollars. Wow. I was like, you guys are That's a great price. I know, and they were and they're like the the real ones, the real kind. And I was even telling them like you guys can sell these for a lot more, but um so I had a lot of luck there. You're seeing this from the backside. I definitely can't do this this type the other way around, but, but it's even pretty from the back. The yeah. lines are lovely. Yeah. Okay. So with repetition and rhythm, I'm gonna do the same application that I did with the Gaelic sleeves down here. I'm gonna just repeat it up there. And here, I didn't leave the foam very high because I want it, I don't wanna say necessarily I want it to be pave, but you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. I just really want it to be as flat as possible up here, but it's not necess necessarily gonna be pave, but kinda. <laughs> Okay. So everyone on YouTube is wondering what the container is made out of. Hmm. It's I don't. Ceramic. Is it ceramic? It's pottery. Yeah, pottery. Pot so would that be clay? <laughs> I don't know. But yes, it's, uh, it's just um, and it. It's made it's to this, look like it would be bamboo with a section cut out, but it actually is a hand glazed pottery. Yeah, it definitely looks like that for sure. It's it's. It's a, it's special for sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna poke here, and you see I'm cutting this very, 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 very short because again I want this to be. They like it from the back. You don't have to turn it around. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna place you right there. Oh my goodness! And let's just place maybe another one, shadowing it. Let's see. I want the, I want it to be very 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 short very short and I gotta take off it all oh, it's little babies I'm so sorry okay so as I'm doing this I uh, when the flowers came in today and I opened up the box and I literally just asked Leanne I was like okay so I'm gonna um, disclose something I am actually really really bad with seasons <laughs> Um, however, there are certain flowers that I know for sure, like dahlias are, you know, dahlias and hydrangeas are summer flowers, um, tulips and lilac are spring flowers, but peonies, I, you know, it's like, I know there's some, some, they come around the summer, but then also sometimes they pop up in the winter. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, um, but when I open the box, the box today, and it's so funny because I always forget about this flower. But and it, it, I always, obviously I always get reminded of it when it's in season. And every time I see it, especially when it looks like how it did today when it came in, it's my favorite flower and I keep forgetting. I'm gonna see if you can guess what it is. Yeah. And I'll bring it out here in a second. But let's see if you can guess what it is. You are a cheese. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what else am I gonna put in here? Let's see. Um. So many great choices. I know, I, that's why it's like, I don't even know where to start. Maybe some of this smoke bush, just very, just tucked in maybe very, very low maybe, and maybe inside the middle. And see here, I'm cutting these down. So you don't have to just use the whole entire stem here. You can, look, I can use it almost maybe five times here. Okay, so maybe placing some just down here in the middle. And you can't see, but I'll turn it around, you'll be able to see it. Maybe some there. And this also is gonna pull some of that. Here, let me just turn this around a little bit. But it pulls some of that brown, burgundy-ish towards the middle. And then let's maybe go over here to the back, to, again, to just repeat what's going down on the bottom, on the top. 
Everybody, you guys are so quiet. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> well, it's fun because they're loving it. Um, they're, they have to turn it around, but you did turn it around. So um, Jo just joined us. She missed the first one, so she's going to have to go back and watch it on replay. And then at the end, when we get to, if we have enough time, mm -hmm. um, Adele would like to know the names of the flowers that were used in the hand tie. So oh. We can maybe go back over yeah. and then if we have time. If not, we can type it into the thing later. Yeah. Yeah. Nina said, thanks for turning it. You're welcome. I w trust me. If this is how if this is if this is gonna turn out how I want it to, how I see it in my head. Um I will definitely be turning around. If it doesn't, I'll just be like, okay, and we're done. <laughs> okay, so I'm placing in now, these are echinacea pods. Okay, so there's some there. So you lots of love on YouTube as well, and you, you're being watched all around the world, including Ooh. Peru and Ecuador. Wow, hi. I, w I don't know if I don't know how to say hi and I, yeah, but hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining. <laughs> so just a few more again to repeat what's going on the top and on the bottom there. And Mary Max says she's going to come to the school and, and go through our container warehouse. <laughs> right. right, and then and then take um, I think it's the the copper the copper paint that she wants. She can't get in Canada. I think she said that last last time when we were using it. They can't get it up there. So questions that have been coming in. One, would you try to conceal the cut end of your smoke bush? So great question. Um, actually, when you look in here, you you can't see it because the the leaves are kind of so they're pushed together that you can't even see that blunt that blunt edge. Or um, try to cut as far as down on the stem as you can. Like you don't want your. Hmm. Let's see. Um, for instance, you wouldn't want to go, basically, it's a really good question. Oops, and I just broke it. You don't want to do something like, like this and have the stem poking out like that. You want to cut down just as far as you can. See, and then you can't see it. Yeah? Then somebody else wanted to know, do, the, do they get to use flowers like this in class, the sunflowers and things like that? Mm-hmm. Yep. And again, speaking of seasons, for the, for the most part, we are able to get pretty much, um, I don't want to say this, the same things throughout because depending on seasons, you get, you get certain things, right? Um, so for the most part, yes, I think sunflowers are on the treasure day, the third I week, the third, the third week of, uh, basic class. Yeah. You get to use, um, some pretty, some really, really great flowers. And again, depending on the season, you know, we'll get something that maybe the January class couldn't use. So. You should just come to all the basic classes year round mm -hmm. so you can use all the flowers. <laughs> um, I am adding in, this is a variety of Brunia. Uh, really, really, really cool. Very textural. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place some over here. So this is gonna be very, very simple, okay? So Arthur, you see I'm not using very many flowers, okay? Just a few and it's more of the, pl the placement using line and space. I am going to add more elements to this. It's going to, you're going to, you all, I really better see those hearts. <laughs> yes, Leanne. Lindy just popped in. Hi, Lindy. How are you? I love you and I miss you. Big kisses. <laughs> How are you doing? Yay. Oh my gosh. It kind of brought a tear to my eye. <laughs> it's maybe a question for Carol, and she may know, or you know, somebody may know, Kathleen just finished her advance and wants to know if her certificate is on the way. So Kath Kathleen, Kathleen Whitlock. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 I signed it. I remember. So is it on its way? It went out last week, I believe. Oh, Kathleen, it went out last week. So if you don't have it soon, get us a caller. Yeah. I remember signing it. I just didn't remember what day I did that. <laughs> right. I'll yeah. double check, though. There has been, um, d depending on where you live, but there actually has been a couple times where I've had to look up um, some of the certifications, and they've it's just been taking a lot just longer. So if, say, you don't get it maybe in the next week or so, just call us. We can send you another one. Or we can always scan it because we have a new phone system, and we can do that. <laughs> okay, what am I? Okay, are you ready? I'm so excited. So excited. Okay, be right back. <clears throat> So we've got Lorraine, Kim Hall, Tu, Diane, Therese, Joe, Allison, Talise, Margaret, Katsutoshi, Amanda, Kathy, Gail, Lindy, I already said Lindy, and Dinah <laughs> all here with you today. Hi, thank you for joining. All right, what I am bringing out. Do you all remember? This is the bittersweet from last week. I could not throw this away because of the, the line. And if you take up all of the foliage and just the, the branch of it is so, so fabulous. I already pre-did some of them because I don't want to take up too much time. But again, watching the change of how things um, Let's see, what, the, what is the, the word I'm using? What, what's the word that I want to use? When things just start to mature, don't throw it away. How, what can you, what can you, you know, think, think about the creativity part of it. What can you do with what you have? And I can't even, hold on, there's this one piece in here that made me so excited. And I was like, I am definitely not throwing this away. Okay, but look how cool. Can you see this? Look at how cool that is. Oh, that's a wonderful piece. Yeah. Oh my God. So there was one inspiration there. Oh. So just seeing how one, uh, how, how a stem can look different and change the next week and just really try to look at your materials and see before throwing it away, you know, how can you repurpose or how can you manipulate it to, to use it? Oh my gosh. Let's Stella see. Stella loves because it's the metaphor, metamorphosis of the product. And then Jessica says she loves to use things at unexpected points in their life cycle. Right. Okay, so oh my goodness. Look at here, look here, look here. So that's gonna go maybe right there behind. So that gives it a little bit of depth there. Let's see. I thought I had all these other cooler pieces, but it's okay. I'm gonna turn this back around. But you see how just one, oops, one piece of a branch that just has some character to it just can, sorry, can change, really, really change the dynamic line, dynamic of the design. <laughs> You all know oh, what dynamic is. <laughs> <laughs> that is something you will learn in the advanced course. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just stick this right on in here. It's almost, it's almost like too perfect of a, oh my, ooh. Are there like sunflowers as the pebbles are falling off and they've gone through that stage? Yes, yeah. I really wanted to, a long time ago when I used to compete, there was one um, theme called Back to Nature, and I used, I did sunflowers, and I, let's see, let me turn this around. I, I did sunflowers, and then took some petals off, like I started with one sunflower with all the petals off, the next one had half of the petals off, and the, ne and the ones down here had all of the, oops, all of their petals on, and then I also used the sunflower stems and sunflower seeds in my arrangement. And it was really, really cool because it kind of um, showed the progression of sunflowers from from when they're when they're babies to when they're an adult to seed. Okay, let's see here. 
everyone on YouTube is loving the idea of using materials at every stage in their life. Yeah. And Rick says he purchased a box of 40 centimeter roses that he's drying to create wreaths for the fall. Ooh, nice. Very, very, very nice. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can go. See, uh, this is looking like a heart. I don't want to do that. And the last time I was doing something, it made it look like a heart. It's because I love all of you. <laughs> well, Miriam, Sharon, Eric, Haley, and Violet all love you too. <laughs> so say that again. We've got Miriam, Sharon, Eric, Haley, and Violet all love oh, you too. Oh, oh, I wonder if um, I wonder if that is Violet who I talked to on the phone yesterday. Uh, she's, whoops, I just got whipped in the face with that, so be careful when you work with flexible branches. Um, she, um, we had a long conversation yesterday because she just joined the Flower Lovers Club, and um, she had her husband call to help us kind of get on, uh, uh, walk them both through on how to get on the Flower Lovers Club. So that might, I wonder if that's so the Violet, same Violet. Is that you? <laughs> See, yeah, Violet, is that you? Okay, so it's almost now Hogarth Curve-ish. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so you can see that just these three branches really like added like like $50 to the arrangement. I'm not done yet. I'm going to bring out my favorite flower. Are you I'm ready? Say, did anyone, flower did anyone, guess, no one said anything? No, no one said a word. All right, well then we might just have to start, we might have to finish early. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get it. To some one person has to guess, just one person. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep going until someone okay, says something. Okay. What is Marisa's favorite flower? You've got ten seconds. Type it in there. Go, 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 go. Come on, someone's gotta put in something. They like the design, but they're not answering. Look, look. Look, 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 look. Oh, we have one guess of a rose. Oh, someone knew that. I bet you they took class with me because <laughs> that is one of my, that is my favorite flower. But that's the, these when they're in season, oh my gosh, hanging amaranthus. That is I, It's absolutely, I can't even handle it right now. Yeah. Like I could literally have a vase of this and be happy. I know. That I just, so oh, pretty. it's so pretty. So hopefully this is something that you didn't order for well, yourself. Now we got billy balls, <laughs> and peonies, and scabiosa, and orchids. So we got lots of And then Debbie says it's going to be something unusual. Yeah. Well, so, okay. I mean, I would say amaranthus is definitely unusual. Um, but my, my all-time favorite uh, flower is a red rose. Because I used to watch my one of my favorite Disney movies is Beauty and the Beast, and that's where that came from. So I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do here is make a hairpin. I forgot to do that ahead of time. My apologies. And then what are you doing with a hairpin? I'm going to pin this in. Okay, I need to actually. Because the lines in here are so precise, there's a little bit of a bend in this amaranthus, so I have to get rid of it. Okay. Oh, there's seeds falling off of this. We, need, we may need to go outside and plant this. Karen says that hanging amaranthus always seems hard to work with. Any tips? Oh, well, here we go. Okay, so let me show you what I'm doing. Since this is so long, um, I'm not just gonna leave it like that. So I, what I did is I took, um, I think this is a 20, maybe a 22 gauge wire and I made a hairpin. I don't know if you can see this, but I just bent it. And then I'm gonna swoop this around and pin it into the foam here. I'll show you. So that could be maybe one way, um, but typically with hanging amaranthus, you kind of have to use it as as it falls, usually in anything basically cascading. Sharon says she grew some this year and is still trying to figure out how to use it, so this is good for her too. Oh, yeah. Um, almost, I don't want to say use it almost as you would like a, like a bow, but it's more of an accent. So pretty much anything 
in my opinion, to maybe uh, drape over the container or to break the line of the container, basically like what I'm doing here. So it's usually at the lower perimeter of something, or again, in something in cascading, you kind of can't, you could put something, I mean, you could put this really tall in something if, a, if something was low down here and things down here, but um, I would love this in a very, very tall, like Eiffel Tower vase. Like if a vase was really tall and skinny and then the um, amaranth is hanged all the way down. Oh, ooh. Summer wants to know if it's also known as love lies bleeding. I think so. Yeah, I've heard that before. Okay, this is ridiculous right now. This is so pretty. I love it. Um, hmm. I don't know if I... Mm, let's, let, let's just see. I may need... Well, yeah. Ooh, I don't know. What do you all think? Do you like the one piece there, or should I add another piece down here? What do you all think? Ooh. Everyone's so quiet today. Dad. Okay, Carolyn said. <laughs> oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Do you guys like it? What do you think? Let's see here. Everybody is loving the uniqueness and loving the way you're doing it. Jared had the question, curious if there are designs that only use one type of flower. Yeah, so that would be, um, that would be called monofloral. Um, so I, I don't know if you mean, say, like a, like a bowl uh, or a vase of just all sunflowers or all roses, or if you did an arrangement with just one flower, um, maybe just a single rose, you can absolutely do that. Um, but definitely, if it's just one of something, definitely make sure it's at least stable in the vase um, so it doesn't flop around or anything. Let's see, maybe that one right there. Okay, one more hairpin, and then we'll be done with that. We just got a great nutritional lesson from Rick uh -huh. in South America. Amaranthus is one of the super grains, complete combinations of the essential amino acids and super high in protein. Oh. And they use it in cereal in South America. Oh, how cool is that? Well, there's plenty of seeds down here. Look at all of these seeds. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna stop there. But you can all see there is not a lot of product in this. And it's just your eyes move all over the place, but in a rhythmical way. Um, it all makes sense. It's very interesting. Um, so I'm super, super excited. So really, this almost kind of changed a little bit. So uh, Arthur, this is kind of asymmetrical-ish, uh, linear. Um, so I hope you like it. Uh, I hope it photographs well. OK, we have. Only have 10 minutes. So if you have tons of parts over here, everybody loves it. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is, I like it. <laughs> I'm proud of that one. <laughs> okay, we only have 10 minutes. So if you have any questions, please ask. I'm going to grab my last container. Mm, maybe can I put it here or? I don't know if any of us have played with this one. Look at this one. Mm. I haven't used that one in a long time. Yeah, this thing is really, really heavy. It's beautiful. Okay, so 10 minutes. Watch this. Okay, look how fabulous these hydrangea are. Uh, I know you have to add like aluminum sulfate or some type of a metal to uh, hydrangea to make it blue or purple. I have no idea what they do to get at this color. Um, I do believe that these are natural and they're just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some of these. Let's see, maybe, maybe this one and this one. And for this one, I don't have any foam. I don't have any floral netting inside. I am going to just weave my materials in. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, so going ahead and just, oh, I was wondering, can you go through the holes? No, that doesn't go through the, doesn't go all the way through. Okay, so just a few flowers here. 
So just off to the side. Look at how, oh my God, oh my goodness. So, so, so pretty. And then, now I want my cans on and my container. <laughs> okay, so now some Dusty Miller, because it just kind of goes with the, that kind of, kind of an odd color. It's kind of like a grayish green or something. Can you all see that? No questions. You guys, like I was preparing last night, asking myself my own questions. I'm like, well, what if they ask this? What are you going to say? And no one's saying anything. God is wanting to love you, and Antiques, those are granddads, that was their natural, and yeah. I believe they call them antiques, they, and granddads right. natural. Yeah, they, the, but the thing is, I've never seen antique hydrangeas look this vibrant, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how they get, I don't know how they get like this, but they are natural. They're, they're Mother gorgeous. Nature at her Mother home. Nature. So you see, I am weaving everything in. Let's see. What? Arthur, we're talking about shedding materials. Do you recommend spraying them, doing something to them, anything in particular? Yeah. Um, Tippet Crown and Glory is probably my go-to, but there's also um, Petal Proofer, or I've even heard like Aquanet can work, like on mums. Um, so you could use either Crown and Glory or, like I said, hairspray. But I tend to. That's probably about it. I don't go any further than that. Where are those? These ones. These. Um, I almost call these dahlias. They're not. They are a type of chrysanthemum. There, I think they're called cremony, right, Carolyn? Crem you are correct. Cremony. So just placing a few in here. Maybe again to shadow a couple, or maybe just some more depth there. And let's put some of their babies in there. We need to get more height because it's looking a little squatty. The scale's looking a little squatty. Is there another? Let's see. What else can we put in here? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Scott was wondering if there are any stores that carry Crown and Glory or you can only get it online. And to my knowledge, at this time, the Crown and Glory is pretty much online. I have not found it in retail stores yet. Uh, has yeah. anyone else seen it in retail stores? Yeah, has anyone else seen Crown and Glory? I mean, we, we sell it here, Scott, so you can buy it from us. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know if that would, you can try Amazon, I mean, I mean, there's. But then it's online, yes, you can yeah. get it through online, yeah. Okay, yeah. Can but you're saying online? like, you're saying like at a, like at, like at Walmart or something, no. no. Um, Cam thinks those hydrangeas might be called pistachio. Oh, pistachio. That would make sense for sure. Okay, so to make this even more fab, let's see. I don't think, um, last week you all didn't see. It's still looking a little squatty. The scale's a little, little small, but we'll fix that. Um, Okay, these leaves, believe it or not, I could not throw these away either from last week. And the fact that they match this container perfectly, I'm just gonna tuck a few in, just to give it just that little bit of that, again, we're, I know we're not in fall, but just that change and kind of bring in the fall with the summer, it kind of this transition. So let's, I have to find the right one. So what am I at, five minutes? Or are you gonna tell me I'm at two? <laughs> you have to be a bit. Oh, that's plenty of time. Let's see. So I'm just going to break. I'm really loving your um, color choices. Yeah. And the unusual combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. I think this year I have really, for some reason, have really expanded upon. Um, 
just colors and whatnot. And it really has nothing to, it's, it honestly has more to do with the product that I've been experiencing. And I also can say with sometimes the, the limitations that we have variety wise in the cooler, I just have to expand and be like, okay, how can I just make this work? And you challenge yourself. And sometimes I can tell you when I, when I just kind of start to put things together, I surprise myself and it's some of the, some of the things that just happen. It's just, it's quite amazing. So, um, this is really surprising that I think these are still quite fresh. I can't, <laughs> I can't cut these apart. Okay. So let's see. I really, really just love the, this color. And I don't know if Sharon is with us who, um, she's coming to the advanced class later on. She is. She's the, I believe it was she that was saying she grew the amaranthus. Oh, okay. Yeah. So last week she was asking about fall leaves and she was asking if she, if we can, if they, if they maintain their color. It was, you asked something last week about, about fall leaves and even here, even though they're I guarantee you a lot of people would throw this stuff away. It just, for me, it works and it, it, it's exactly the same color as the container. So it works here, uh, in my opinion. Um, so I feel like you can, you can, you can use whatever, you can use whatever you want. Um, just as long as it just doesn't look dead. Um, in my opinion, I don't think they, they do, but they don't. They, did, they just work, they just work. I feel like they just work. Okay, so we, we still need more. We need more lift to this. The scale is still too, too short. Maybe we can make it a little bit taller with some of the smoke bush maybe over here. Oh yeah, because what's gonna happen is this is gonna pull that beautiful burgundy color from, oh yeah, from the hydrangea there. Maybe a few of these stems back. Well, you're continuing yeah. that, Marisa. Yeah. Darnell would like to know how he could be part of flower school. You just have to come. That's all. You just have to sign up and just come. Um, we have online classes and um, the, uh, the classroom here in Portland. You can always call us too here at the office. 503-223-8089 um, and we are more than welcome to walk you through and answer any questions that you like. Operators are standing up. <laughs> we are standing up. Actually we're not because we're all in here. But, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll call you back. <laughs> okay. Act hmm. So the, the fact that you were coming in with scale there is Flower Buddy was asking for a little more discussion about scale. And I'm thinking, Flower Buddy, that that may be a good line that we do in the future. So I'm adding that to the list because that could take up a whole hour by yeah. itself. Well, I don't know if you, if you have, if you, if you all noticed when I was talking about it earlier, it was very, it was very squatty. It wasn't in, it wasn't in proportion to the container. And you notice how I'm just kind of gradually making it a little better, bigger and it's starting to look appropriate for its, I was just going to say its body looks appropriate for its pants. Um, so it's fitting into its pants now. It's starting to fit. Um, but I think, let me, I think I just wanted to add just, just a bit more. Uh, See, this almost kind of looks horizontal-ish, but it's not, but I don't know what's up with me saying ish, <laughs> kinda, and maybe, oh, this, this will bring line to it. And I think once I add this, oh yes, you will all love this a lot. We may, oh, okay, you know what? How much time do I have? Two minutes. Okay, so let me try, let me try. Because here's another, I'll put amaranthus in this one too, so you can see a different application. The same but different. You know, it's interesting with the flower school, teacher Marisa and teacher Carolyn, who are both with us today, are both online teachers as well as classroom teachers. And it's so much fun because in the online you have students from all over the world and the different materials and the different styles makes it so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, and what's even, in my, I think what's even more fun is that working, working so close with Carolyn, I have learned so much with that, that whole Bespo style that I had no idea about. 
And I just, I, I just embrace that. And it's just really, really, it's really, really fun. Um, oh my gosh, to, to just keep educating yourself and to keep learning. Cause I literally have had so much, such a hard time doing um, designs that really, really expand upon depth and space in a different way. So I had the amaranthus kind of down here. I typically, when I do designs like this, when things are draping, I usually, in class, I tell you to never have it touching the table, just just a, a little bit above, but here it's, it's an exception because it's part of the design. But there you go with amaranthus there. I hope you all like this one. I think we're, we may be out of time. Yeah, that so went by so fast. <laughs> I can't believe how fast that went. It literally fit, felt like five minutes. <laughs> um, thank you again, um, as always, for joining. Um, next Wednesday, we will be here, same time, same place. Have a great week and do something you like.